Hey everyone's Dev here and welcome to Dungeons of Eternity Overview. So I got an early access to this game like two weeks ago but only recently I managed to jump into it. Which is a shame because if I would play this earlier then I'll be just constantly doing that because it's such a banger that I was just taking a bag. <laughs> So Dungeons of Eternity is a hack and slash action adventure game where in a world that's being threatened by the absolute destruction and cataclysm coming to your land, you descend into the planet of Eternity in search for survival and get lost in the endless labyrinth. Prior to trying it out, I did not even realize how much it lies within my preferences in terms of VR gaming, like it's exactly what I want. A full on adventure with physics combat just just discovering the dungeons, customizing your arsenal and get the loot. Apparently it should be inherently played in co-op mode, which I very much saw that while going into the gameplay. Not because you can't do it alone, but with other people it's just gonna be so much fun that I don't think many experiences were designed to be that way. It's a very rare occasion I'm praising the game all across the board, but this very much so deserves it somehow and we're talking pretty much every aspect of it if it's the just mechanics physics features like literally everything is working there and it's kind of weird to have something so proper yet kind of flying under the radar especially after connect and literally in the dawn of getting the quest free if i would really nitpick something then a little bit polished monsters in terms of textures could be nice but in the state that the project is i don't think that really matters question is now how I'm gonna be doing content around it since I don't have people to play with and alone might be quite a challenge at some point but I'm all down for it though and we'll see how the game is gonna get big on the store because it should. <laughs> Let's go to the dungeons! <laughs> we are somewhere. Fell from the moon maybe? <laughs> Exploring dungeons requires free movement, you may choose... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I did choose the yeah, in the options. <laughs> I don't know why it's that. There we go. This is looking snazzy. And mysterious. Welcome to the Outpost Explorer. Your voyage across the fastness of space has proven successful. Before we begin basic training, let us review our mission. Legana, our homeworld. Not long ago, the Nova Guild made a haunting discovery. A cataclysmic cosmic event which threatens our very existence. A star in a nearby system is approaching supernova. Its demise means the destruction of our homeworld. However, there may be hope. Nova Guild detected high levels of cosmic mana emanating from one of the planets orbiting the dying star. Research teams worked to the surface to investigate the sources of the cosmic mana. They discovered ancient machines built to harness this energy to keep the star alive. Unfortunately, we lost communication with Nova Guild once one of the machines was activated. Recon drones were sent to investigate. Scans revealed an interconnected labyrinth of fortresses, tombs, waterways, and caverns beneath the surface of the planet. There is no beginning or end to these dungeons. Because of this, we codenamed the planet Eternity. Cute. Beware. These dungeons are inhabited by hostile armies and monstrous creatures unlike anything on Legana. Luckily, 
The weaponry found on this world is quite adept at dispatching the hostiles. <laughs> As part of the Star Guild, your mission is to conquer the dungeons and collect resources in order to survive. As you gain experience, make attempts to refuel the Dying Star by reactivating the ancient machines. You will not be alone. More Star Guild explorers are traveling to eternity to aid in this effort. Band together with these heroes. Survive. Save our own world. Basic training in the ancient ways is required before exploring the dungeons of eternity. Continue to the combat training area to begin. Wow. I... I did not really expect this level of ambience or quality, I would say. Because we're very much in the medieval style kind of like just combat scenario, but then we have like futuristic... Yeah, like it's very... new. <laughs> and yes, I'll be alone, unfortunately. <laughs> Combat training. Hideo! My weapons are stored on your waist. Oh, that's nice physics already. Very precise, like with the edges and stuff. <laughs> Everything is interactional. Where do I go? I need to follow that or essentially. Oh my god, there's a button. Whoa! So aggressive! Damn! <laughs> I did not see moves like that before. Wow, that's some... I mean, the first impressions are crazy. Firing works great. Collisions... As well. And the weapons don't like disappear while swinging. I can also throw it. And it comes back. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's very high. Every game has its different kind of like throwing techniques. This link more into physics and momentum. A 
amazing. <laughs> So good, like I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I'll try to play more, though. Like I lost a lot of time searching for this goddamn button. Wait, where's the chain? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't even read it. Loot and inventory. I mean, of course, it's an RPG. Some breakables are dangerous. Uh, I learned from Resident Evil and snakes. But where do I store the health potions? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. That's such a cool interaction. I should be ready for the adventure, right? <laughs> All character related upgrades and turns are done in your playroom. I'll enter first, just to see. But how then this is cool, like, what? Perks... Yeah, I mean, nothing's available for now. And to rush to the dungeon. Broken Recon Drone. Okie dokie. <laughs> like everything here is just so nice. Now I need to be careful of the dangers. I still need to learn how to properly heal myself. It's a very cool inventory system.
I mean, I would be absolutely down to play this with some other people, like, it's meant to be. Wow. Even dismemberment. Sports as well. Well, everything. Whoa. <laughs> Love the ball. Love everything so far, like it's crazy. I just need to immediately use it. I'm always forever alone, but what's this? <laughs> A map? Positions, like it just keeps getting better. How is it possible? ironic to shoot something for a ball that's made of bones. I kinda like that there's no ammo. you just have a variety of options available at the start. Die? I guess he can't die because he's undead, so I need to cut his head off. Realistic? And the helmet stop stuff? But I can just do that. Ah. I need a key. I don't remember where I came from. I need to finish it here, damn it! I really want to play more, which does not happen that frequently. 
I'll just see what's here and then we'll stop. Okay, so that we know what it unlocks. Oh my god, how this game can be so cool, yet so in my style, it's just, it's crazy. Everything works here, if it's the physics, combat, mechanics, throwing, everything. <laughs> like this, this is very special. If it's made by indie or not, it doesn't matter. Cause it's that good. <laughs> Moreover, I will be playing this like if I know or not, doesn't matter. Graphics wise, it's also very much appropriate for Quest. You can nitpick some stuff, but really, like, considering the features or the mechanics are that good, it's not like I'm letting it slide. But this does not matter. Like, the game is just top tier. Very much looking forward to what's it gonna be in the future of this, because if enough or a lot of people will discover this after the release, then this is like game of the year potential. <laughs> Absolute kudos to developers, like this is some real talent here with the developing skills and we'll be back, that's for sure. <laughs>